Hello, hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Stars with Stasi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stasi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is a special reading for my fellow water sign Scorpio, and this is going to be for the week of May 12th through May 18th, or whenever you come across this message it's meant for you. I've already shuffled these cards so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the theme for this week. Now we do have Mercury entering Taurus on the 15th so that's going to give you stability in your voice and communications. So anything that you're trying to get off your chest, any ideas you're trying to pitch, this is a great week for that. All right, so we have 39, experiencing the reality of change. We are in Taurus season. We just had the 5-5 five, five portal, and this is being recorded on the new moon in Taurus. So happy new moon to you, Scorpio. I've got number 48, Sky Dancers, Surrender. So I feel like this is saying surrender to the change, surrender to the idea that things are not turning out exactly how you had planned, but it's because the plan, the divine plan is better than anything maybe you could have come up with. And I know I'm personally experiencing that as of right now as we speak, right? Huge changes out of nowhere. Huge so I've got the Smith overthinking and taking action. So are you in analysis paralysis? Have you been stuck? Have you been eight of swords holding yourself back, right, Scorpio? So I'm going to pull nine cards and then I'm going to clarify those cards to get a good idea of what we can expect this week. Seven of cups. Hmm, there might be an overwhelm of options, right? Or too many ideas coming through. This might be a refinement period. <clears throat> Let's keep going. What else do we have for Scorpio this week? I've got nine of swords coming through with the queen of cups. You know, this has been in the recent past, a week of miscommunications, mishaps, misdirection, you name it, right? And I feel like there's been a lot of emotional upset in the recent past. And perhaps this upcoming week brings us a little bit more answers, some clarity. Um, I do see with the Queen of Cups coming through, there's this need to nurture, understand. There's a compassion here that you're going to have. <clears throat> Also, the Queen of Cups, although Cancer energy, literally, right, for the sign of Cancer, I always see her as Scorpio because, you know, we're the fiery water signs, to say the least. Oh, Scorpio, here we go. Oh, Ten of Cups. This is good. This is your family, your home life, whatever that looks like to you. And with the Ten of Cups showing up, that's a really good sign that things are going well. Strength card, maybe facing some demons, dealing with some darkness, some issues here. And then the High Priestess, right? You could be dealing with the Pisces, quite literally, a Leo cancer. We've got all the different signs here. But to me, the way this is coming across Scorpio is that you've had to really dig deep. Like you faced some hard truths recently. And, you know, that redirection is God's protection. I say it a lot because it, it, you know, sometimes it's so hard to really comprehend where the mishap happened, right? Or where the miscommunication took place or why, or, you know, why the redirection? It, it can be difficult. Ten of swords. <laughs> Like I said, it can be difficult, right? It can be difficult to sit on the other line and say, oh, no, I'm perfectly fine. Meanwhile, you're exactly like this going, why did this happen? That's not what I had planned. And sure enough, it comes in under the Ten of Cups. So this week might bring you some sort of ending, some sort of realization you were not prepared for. Guys, I'm not even joking. In this particular deck, I always say that this Ten of Swords shows up twice. And sure enough, it showed up one after the other. That's something else, Scorpio. So I guess we are really feeling the end of something this week. Good Lord. Hey, but look, great news. I got so excited just now because, like I said, I'm a Scorpio. Here we've got the sun card. Oh, thank goodness. Because let me tell you what, this is looking like, <laughs> this is looking like some sort of, some sort of mess here. I'm not sure, but let's dig deeper, Scorpio. You know, I'm always trying to find that silver lining. And definitely the cards in the beginning, the theme is all about looking at things differently, surrendering to the um, divine protection, <laughs> surrendering to the changes. I literally just saw in my mind's eye someone getting a text message and going, whoa, I didn't expect that. 
right? So again, this is for the upcoming week. I feel like for many of you, me included, okay, in the recent past, including current day, it's been about getting surprise messages, information you could have not envisioned, right? Psychic and all things came my way this week that I was like, what, <laughs> what? That's, you know, and I feel like that's the theme for Scorpios this week. It's been, you know, the jaw, like the, the jaw dropping reality. So why the seven of cups? Seven of cups comes through 10 of pentacles. Wow. Okay. So 10 of pentacles, this is about your home life, your stability, your family again shows up. And with the seven of cups, like maybe you are rethinking your approach towards relationship. Maybe something happened here. So let's keep going. Why the nine of swords and the queen of cups? The queen of cups shows up again, and that's clarifying the nine of swords. And then the six of wands shows up to clarify the queen of cups. So listen, something is going on here where maybe you've confronted someone or you're about to confront someone. Um, and, you know, you're trying to bridge a gap is what it looks like. Even it appears that there's been an offer of apology. There's been like compassion towards a situation. I really see because, you know, again, like I said, this is <clears throat> definitely manifesting around me with the people I know and my clients as well, where it's been a recent hardship. And so I feel like this new moon energy and then heading into the week of the 12th through the 15th or the 12th through the 18th, there is this looking back because look, let me show you Scorpio that the queen of cups, right, is facing the past. And there's this need for compassion. There's a need for release because she's clarifying the nine of swords. I feel that there was a period of disappointment, right? And it had to do with someone in your intimate circle. And then I feel like, you know, all you can really do at this point is just continue to lead this with compassion. And I see the six of wands here, which means that there's victory ahead in the situation. And it may May just be again the great release I feel like this is um the culmination of something that began for you during the full moon in Scorpio so that would have been what April 24th 25th so take that how it resonates but whatever was going on in that full moon in Scorpio as this new moon in Taurus and as we approach even Gemini season there is this energy here of like releasing it right and and having an understanding about a situation that brings a certain amount of peace for you so why did all of that happen for Scorpio and what can Scorpio expect why the Ten of Cups, I have the Six of Pentacles. Look, th there's this conversation, there's this feeling here of you looking for more balance in your relationships, bottom line. Like there's an uh, equal give and take that you're searching for. Like you're tired of, you know, having to always over explain your feelings, your position, um, maybe... <clears throat> And I'm also hearing like you wish people would greet you with the same compassion you greet them with. Maybe you've made a recent mistake, like, you know, maybe there was a misunderstanding. That's how it's coming through. There was a misunderstanding, a miscommunication, some type of back and forth that it's almost like you, maybe you held your ground. And now you see it differently. So who knows here, Scorpio, but at the end of the day, I feel like why did this happen? Because you need more balance in your relationships and you want more. There's a happiness here ahead for you that I'm feeling like you had to clear some paths, right? And again, this doesn't have to be a romantic situation. This could be a friend. This could be a, um, it, it is coming through like somebody that you care about <clears throat> with the, Strength card coming through, four of cups. So again, this is that looking back with compassion and maybe figuring out where you could have shown up differently and, you know, trying to release it. Because look, at the end of the day, with whatever was happening, <clears throat> especially here at the beginning of the week, it happens as a catalyst because there is this need to bring you something more aligned with your visions and what you want. So the way it's coming through Scorpio is that you've spent a lot of time recently, like in your mind saying, this is what I want. I want fill in the blank health, wealth, 
love, blah, blah, blah. And then I feel like in the beginning of the year, you know, you started manifesting some of those things, but maybe it wasn't for your best and brightest timeline. And now there's a revision being made to the process. One that was unexpected and one that you're dealing with, quite frankly, because the universe is trying to give you that ace of cups. Here we go. We've got the high priestess coming through with the hanged man. So I feel like deep down inside, no matter what happened, no matter what turn of events took place and is still currently being dealt with this week, it literally was something that you need to look at differently. Again, the rejection, God's protection, the redirection, the protection. It's all there. There's an energy of like, well, wait a minute, Scorpio, you're right. You have been working towards your best and brightest timeline. So that situation would have brought you down that person would have derailed your plans. You would have been overly distracted in this situation. Do you see what I'm saying? And also because you've been, we all have actually as Scorpios have been really kind of, you know, keeping people at an arm's length. Now, if you are having this desire to rekindle relationships and to be out there in community and to get out and do something that's fun and delightful, for example, you know, you might find yourself having a little bit of a challenge um, until you let your guard down. <clears throat> So this is about looking at things differently. And to be honest with you, this is also the card here of number 48, which reduces to 12, the hanged man. Surrender, look at it differently, release control, let it happen, right? Stop lamenting about the past. It definitely was, you know, look, as you continue to manifest your best and brightest, Every day you put energy towards your best and brightest because you're so focused on it. You are literally changing timelines by feeding, right, that energetic thought form of success, consistent energy. Every week I tell you, Scorpio, the best way to manifest is to cut the chatter in the back of your mind and to really be focused on what it is that you want which step one, figure out what you want, scary as hell, commit to the idea of it, even if what's happening around you isn't supporting what you want, stop trying to fit a square into a hole, right? <clears throat> so, you know, it, it really boils down to whatever is happening, you've got to accept it and say, okay, you know, I asked for better, so better's coming. That's the truth. There's a release here. And, you know, it's one that, again, unexpected, but regardless, it is what it is. So Ten of Swords, why the Ten of Swords the first time? Ten of Swords the first time because Queen of Wands. I feel like, look, there's something here where you are definitely on your power path, right? Scorpio is on the power path. Take it or leave it, but that's what's happening. And as you are powering through your, you know, <laughs> your day to day, and you're so focused, you really are, I think, not intending to, but perhaps you are intimidating to other people. Because even though this can mean that you're very charismatic and very magnetic and people are, you know, giving you the energy that you're putting out, like like attracts like, you're getting it done. This is also, you might really need to think about the fact that some people just are not prepared <laughs> to be around a healed Scorpio because a healed Scorpio is a focused Scorpio. It's, it's, it's a powerhouse. Again, this is you powering through all of the stuff from the past. And I feel like it really does kind of hit you like, well, damn, this isn't what I expected. But here we are, you're on to greatness. So the past that was mediocre, isn't going to serve you anymore. Literally, literally, what I'm saying to you, eight of cups, what do we say about the eight of cups? This person is walking towards their nine and 10 of cups. They may not know what that looks like, but they know that where they are today is okay, but it's not enough. It doesn't match your greatness. That's the thing. You know, you might have been in an area in this mindset of four of cups, woe is me. But at the end of the day, what you're projecting to the rest of the world is queen of wands, right? And that's the thing, male or female, no matter what's going on in the back of your mind this week, Scorpio, this lamenting, this sadness, woulda, shoulda, coulda, why did this happen? Because this has been going on for Scorpio's for the better, like again, since the full moon in Scorpio, 
at the 25th of April. So comment below and let me know if you've been feeling that urge for more since then, right? Whatever it is that's been going on, this purge is purging the just good enough. It's it, You've been purging the good enough energy. You're, you're wanting more and you deserve it and you're getting it. You are getting it because you're going after it intentionally. So let's clarify the sun card for Scorpio. I just saw <clears throat> Libra energy at the bottom of the deck. So again, another card of balance and things coming into more stability for you. Why the sun card, please? Knight of Cups, because you are in the pursuit. So <laughs> there's so many cards here suggesting, Scorpio, that you're just going to keep on trucking ahead. And I love that because that's what we need to do, right? This is nothing stopping you. You're in pursuit of just connection. You're in pursuit of the real deal. You're in pursuit of people who are truly walking the walk, talking the talk, if that's the correct statement, right? You are looking for the real deal connections. And yes, you've met a lot of friends. You've met some people. You, you know, are trying to get back out there. It's been hit or miss, you know, and again, <clears throat> this comes through like a friend, a close friend. It could be a sibling. It could be a relationship. But again, something has happened and you're feeling disconnected, perhaps. And you're looking at the past, wondering if you could have done something differently. And at the end of the day, the advice is no, because you want better for yourself. And so better has to find its way to you. And that can't happen if you're blocked up with your energy and people and places that don't support that vision. <clears throat> I'm also sensing that, um, you know, this overthinking and taking action, some of you have really, really held back having some difficult conversations with close friends. That's coming through as well. And I feel like there's an opportunity here for um, for clarity. So... Let's see how that goes for you, Scorpio. What is the shadow work that flew out? This shadow work says blinded to the pain. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, you got to sit in it. Look, this sucks a little bit, right? In the sense that I feel like this was an unexpected turn of events. And I feel like an honest, honest to goodness, Scorpio, you were either misunderstood or you were really kind of hurt about something. But at the end of the day, I see you doing everything that you could have done to reconcile. I see you really being stronger about an outcome that you didn't expect. Maybe in the past, this would have really lived rent free in your mind for quite some time. And now I see that you're like, OK, you know, I'm going to have to get through it. I'm going to have to get through it and press on. And maybe. Maybe that pressing on number 13, which in the major arcana is Scorpio energy, this pressing on, this continued need to transform and move through it, you know, maybe you have been until recently a little bit cut off to having any feeling about things that aren't necessarily going your way because you're so powering through getting to your way. Um, so take that how it resonates. But there is this energy here of, you know, you can't hide from it. You're going to have to sit through it. This has shown up for us a few times in the recent past. So take that how it resonates. But whatever it is that happened, the more you just lean into this was a spiritual speed bump and the more you just accept that it's happening because you're going after your nine and ten of cups <laughs> therefore this you know lackluster energy isn't going to work the more that this can happen with ease and <clears throat> and success and to be honest, the other thing I'm picking up, Scorpio, as I'm getting to the end of this reading, this is really, um, you know, I hope that most of you are still on here because this is pretty important. What I'm picking up as well is that if you have been experiencing challenges as you are trying to build your vision, <laughs> th th I guess that's where I'm coming from when I say you keep powering through. It's like, look, <laughs> other people's opinions about your success are their business. Unless they're paying your bills and unless you ask them for their opinion, really any anybody here is probably just giving you their feedback out of concern. Um, 
that's how it's coming through. Like people are afraid that maybe you are making too many changes too fast. I don't know. But at the end of the day, again, you can take it or leave it, that advice that someone else is giving you. But remember that a lot of times people will project their own fears when expressing to someone um, a what I would say is called a um, constructive criticism. So all right. This week, what can you manifest? Feeling good will bring me far more than whatever I thought I needed. Raise your vibrations, Scorpio. Get out of this four of cups energy because the universe is literally bringing you your nine and ten of cups because you've been working towards that goal. You've been powering through it. You recognize that shifts are taking place. You recognize you're going to need to go with the flow. And the more that you lean into that, the easier things get for you, Scorpio. All right. Thank you so much for spending your time here with me this afternoon. Please remember that this is a general reading. So if you're looking for more personalized experience, head over to my website at starswithstasi.com to book a personal reading, mediumship, or get your astrological charts. We're all stars from the sky with feet on the ground, doing the best we can with the information we have. So be kind to yourselves and each other. And until next time, Scorpio, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing healing to all those who seek it. Have a great week ahead. Drop some comments, hit that like button, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I cannot wait to hear from you. Have a great week, Scorpio, and shine brightly.